We are back again with another AI budgeting app, and this time it is Snoop Finance, which I've been using for the past six months. And I figured out it has such a great money analytics platform and also a brilliant bills upcoming management. However, it is shocking in the fact that it doesn't have any AI savings tools to help you save more money. Hey, I'm Jacob, a commercial banker, and I've been using budgeting apps for the past three to four years. And I'm gonna share my knowledge of budgeting apps with you and tell you whether you should be using Snoop Finance or any other budgeting app. But before we go any further, what the hell is Snoop Finance? So Snoop is an AI budgeting app which takes all of your different bank accounts and inputs it into a central exchange and it spits out a bunch of outputs. And these outputs are in the form of an expense management tracker where you can see how much money you're spending, your upcoming bills, and any other tools which you can use to track your money. It does this all through AI, so you don't have to do a thing other than load up your accounts and just let the magic work. Now, these are designed to help you budget your money and be able to track your money a lot better. Now, these apps are quite difficult to use and they've got so many cool key features which you need to be utilizing. So let's go over to Pass Jacob who goes over a full tutorial of Snoop. So it's all well and good knowing what the Snoop app is, but how do you use it and how do you get the most out of its features? Well, let's dive into the app now and let's have a look at what I do to be able to get the most out of this app. So straight away, let's open up Snoop Finance and straight away you've got to input your code and then it's super easy because you can see all of your accounts in one place. At the very top, it's saying my current account with Nationwide, my American Express, my Chase and my Lloyds account all in one place. And if I wanted to add another account, I could. It's just let's connect and it's so easy, so much easier than Emma, Plum and YNAB. So anyway, let's click out of that and you can even see it calculates your total net worth. Now you do need to upgrade it, which let's not get into how frustrating that makes me feel, but we can easily see what my total net worth is. Now, I'm not sure whether it's £10.70. I do think it's more than that. In fact, I know it's more than that, but let's forget about that for a second. It's super easy to be able to see your accounts. And if you scroll down, you can actually click on all of your transactions. And what this does is it allows you to see all of your transactions from all of your different accounts. So you can see here that I've just booked a flight via Ryanair. I have got money from Roundup. I spent money at Sainsbury's, Transport for London, train line. And I can even go back a few months as well. I can go into June, for example, and I can see that I spent money at Tesco's. I spent money at Amazon. I spent money for my water bill. So straight away there, you can see all of your transactions, which is so useful. It's like one of my favorite features of this app. And then you scroll down a little bit further and it gives you like an August summary. So you can see your total expenditure, your upcoming bills, any renewals that you've got coming up and your credit score. So if I click onto this total spend, it actually takes me to this spending tab. And when I say this spending tab is good, this spending tab is amazing. I remember when I looked at Plum and it was just shocking and so was Emma. They were like the worst analytics platforms I've ever seen, but this, has got to be the best analytics I've ever seen from a budgeting app. So straight away, you can see the chart and it literally compares what my expenditure is compared to last month. So at the moment, you can see I'm £179 down versus the 17th of July. What's even cooler is I can literally just go back to July, I can go back to June, and I can see where my expenditure was, and I really like that about it. You can also personalize it if you want to, but once again, you have to upgrade, which is just, yeah, don't get me onto that. So you can even see the different categories. So I can go into how much I spent on transport, and you can see it's actually down £57.29. You can even go into your groceries, you can see this is up for me for £30. It's all categorized it really, really well, which is one thing that I just love about this app is it's just so clean and simple to use. And then not only that is you can actually have it by merchant as well. So you can see that I spent 58 pounds for my Fuse Energy. I spent 23 pounds at Gail's Bakery, right? If you want to go to a bakery, don't go to Gail's because this was literally four items, which is just ridiculous. That's one thing I really, really like about Snoop is their spending. 
Next, you can have a look at this other super cool feature, which is upcoming bills. So it's like with anything, we all set direct debits. We don't really know when our bills are coming out and if there's any change to our bills. Well, Snoop Finance literally does all that for you. So you can go into it and you can see that, okay, well, I've got a American Express bill coming up, my gym, plum, I've got a direct debit for a savings account. I've got my council tax. I've got my Canva for this YouTube. Then we can see if I've paid my bills or not, if they've increased, if they've decreased. So I don't know what Snoop Finance are doing, but they're clearly a lot better at, at this point in time. Now, there's one thing which I don't really like and I do find a bit useless, and this is the renewals manager. So this renewals manager is, if you have any bills which are coming up for renewal, it will basically search and try and find you the best renewal, the best offer out there, but it doesn't really work very well. So you click on this and it pretty much just, just tells me, oh, you could save this, this is the average and that's about it. So it's a bit of a pointless feature being in the app. So with that, it does get a negative for me. It calculates your credit score, but doesn't everything these days, nothing too special. And you can create a very easy access saver, but this is another downside with Snoop, is that it doesn't have an ISA, which is tax efficient. It's just a general investment savings account, which isn't tax efficient at all, and means that you can't really benefit from anything in the saver, apart from a relatively good interest rate. Finally, what you can do is you can create an emergency fund, and I created an emergency fund for six months and it's given me a target of 13,400. You can basically use different expenses and put it into this emergency fund and that is quite a nice feature. So overall, it's so easy to use over the others, but what are the key features that you should be using? So what are the pros, what are the cons of this platform? Well, the pros are pretty obvious. It tracks your money really well and it has nice charts to be able to understand what's going on with your expenses. You can see exactly how much you spent this month compared to last month and it puts it into categories too and it also compares this month to last month. The second thing is I like that it shows the upcoming bills. These upcoming bills are brilliant because I have lots of direct debits on my accounts but I just have no idea when they're actually going out and if they've changed too. So that's another thing which is brilliant. Now. The biggest con about this is the fact that it doesn't have AI savings tools to help you actually save more money. So with Emma, with Plum, you would have like roundups, you would have a brain which would automatically allocate money for you, you'd have money moved on payday, but it doesn't really have that. And as a result, I cannot see the justification in purchasing Snoop Plus at all. It costs $11.99 a month and you're not getting any benefit out of it really. And this is one thing I'm going to say again. Founders, you need to find a different way to be able to monetize your platform because this just isn't working. So if you want something to automatically save money with no input, Emma, Plum and YNA Beer for you. But if you want something to track your money each month and see how it compares to the previous month, well, you should download Snoop and you should do it today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you're curious about Emma, Plum or YNAB at all, I have a selection of videos which you can watch where I do a full comparison of the four. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.